In today's video, we're revisiting the man bun. We're going to be discussing my hair measurements and how long it will take you to grow out your hair, the best way of actually prepping and styling the hair into a bun, and a brief look into how I style my fit around this hairstyle. As always, if you enjoy or find this video helpful, please drop this video a thumbs up. It lets me know you guys like seeing these types of videos. Subscribe if you haven't already to keep up to date with the weekly content. This isn't something I usually plug, but if you're looking for an odd bit of hair inspo, be sure to check out my Instagram at LucasAid. Quickly touching on hair measurements, I've been growing my hair out for a little under two years. I was initially growing it out from a disconnected undercut, so the sides and the back are shorter than the front. The rate of hair growth varies person to person, however the average is around half an inch to an inch per month. If you're looking to grow your hair out specifically for this hairstyle, I think you can expect to wait just a little under two years. I'd say that's about average. Of course, it will ultimately depend on where your hair growth journey starts, what length you're currently at. But without further ado, let's actually get into the step-by-step. -step. First and foremost, this hairstyle is best done with second, third, even fourth day hair. That's because hair with built up oil is a lot easier to work with. It feels more comfortable tied up and it's probably one of the only hairstyles where it's appropriate to have slightly oilier hair. And so I do highly suggest that you try this style with second, third day hair. But for the sake of this video and making this hairstyle replicable, we're going to start with clean washed hair. When washing your hair with this style in mind, I'd suggest using slightly more conditioner than you normally would. Basically, the closest we can get to second, third day hair, the better. You then want to towel dry well. If you've seen my most recent hair video, you'll know it's advised to switch the towel for a t-shirt to avoid breakage. You can skip this step once you've towel dried, but I do highly advise you apply at least a hair oil. This again will make the hair easier to manage, prevent frizz, as well as nourish the hair, hence why I highly advise you don't miss this step. I like to follow this up with some sort of hair cream, literally for all of the same reasons I just mentioned, but mostly because it tames frizzy hair, which is usually apparent the day you wash your hair. With our hair cream applied, we're going to blow dry the length of our hair while simultaneously combing it's super important you comb your hair while drying to prevent any frizziness and ultimately straighten the hair so that we can tie it up without any hassle in the later step. Once your hair is dried and lying straight, assess whether you want to add any more product to intentionally weigh the hair down, making it easier to tie. If not, just proceed to the tying process. Start with a hairband on your dominant wrist. For me, I'm right-handed, so the hairband sits on my right wrist. I like to bring all of my hair in the same direction, in this case, forward. I then cup the hair at the back first, working my way upward until I'm able to hold all of the hair in my dominant hand. It is worth mentioning you don't really need to worry too much about what hand you're using. It's just whatever feels comfortable for you. This is just what feels comfortable for me. I then roll the hairband off my wrist onto the hair and use my other hand to loop the hair bound around the hair once if I'm going for a looser fit or twice if I want a tighter fit. Typically I tie my hair up quite loosely because that's just what I find comfortable but a tighter fit can and does look really clean so yeah it's just kind of situational and what works with you. And lastly where you position the bun ultimately depends on how long your hair is. When I made a man bun tutorial several months ago my hair was just about long enough to tie meaning I was forced to position the bun very low. Now that my hair is longer I'm quite flexible with where I position it and I like to have it sat just below the crown area. And that is the final look it's nice and easy especially if you do the hairstyle with second or third day hair because you can basically skip out on all the steps I've mentioned. Now a brief look into how I style my fit around the man bun. I don't really have any set criteria or regulations per se when it comes to styling my fit. However, generally speaking, I quite like loosely fitted clothing, especially when my hair is styled in a man bun. I feel like it adds to that easy get up and go type of vibe. Um, if you're interested in the actual pieces I'm wearing here, the trousers are from Fair Play. The shirt is from Uniqlo. Um, I got it for like three pounds. It was on sale, which was super, super cool. I also typically wear football shirts or football jerseys. Um, anything that kind of gives a boxy but loose fit is kind of my go-to, so yeah. But that brings this video to an end. Thank you guys very much for watching. If you did enjoy it, please drop a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already. As always, all the products, tools, and accessories that I've mentioned throughout today's video will be linked in the description. But until then, I will see you all in the next one. Take care, guys. Bye-bye.